All right. In April, the Connecticut Department of Public Health reported more than 300 suspected overdoses across the state. And sadly, there were also nine additional suspected overdose deaths. Now, it is a problem that continues to hit families all across Connecticut. TriCircle, an outstanding nonprofit, making sure families have the support and resources that they need to navigate a loved one struggling with drugs. Joining us this morning, TriCircle founder, Anna Gopian and volunteer Paula LaJoy. Ladies, thanks for being here. Hi, thank you for having us. Thanks. Anna, you and I have known each other for years. Uh, we met at a road race for outrunning addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know you well, but for folks who don't know TriCircle, what are you all about? Help individuals and families to overcome the disease of addiction by creating um, you know, support and resources necessary for uh, long-term outcomes. And I'd like to celebrate your success because what are we yes. at, 19 years now or something? Uh, it's way. Way more, okay. July 13th, it'll be 28. Okay, so I lost count, but, <laughs> but <Yeah>. congratulations <laughs> to you. Mm -hmm. And I know that success comes from the support that you've been able to receive across mm -hmm. the community. And Paula, that's where you come in here because TriCircle does really phenomenal support groups. There's one meeting tonight in right. three different locations Talk about what that looks like. Sure. Um, yeah, it's interesting because I'm actually hosting the meeting tonight in Summers. Um, but I was introduced to TriCircle kind of by, through personal invitation. So I know what it feels like to feel unheard, um, to feel scared, to feel overwhelmed, and to feel like nobody understands you. And I just met somebody at an unrelated event and we shared that commonality and she personally invited me to go to a tri-circle meeting and that was back in 2019 and i've been affiliated with the organization mm -hmm. ever since it was life-changing and, and you know that journey because you have loved someone who has lived this struggle how has this organization and this support group that will meet tonight i should say in meriden colchester and summers we'll get the information on our website mm -hmm. yeah. um how has it helped you well first of all i don't i, I challenge anybody um, that doesn't know somebody that's impacted by the disease of addiction. And so for me, yes, I had a family member of, um, and it helped me because I found a place where I was heard, where I was welcomed, where I was safe, and where I didn't feel alone. And I learned that there was hope. And I learned about all the resources that are available. So it was it was life changing for me. Well, we are, are are thankful and that you are brave to share your experience with us, Anna. I know that there is a scholarship opportunity as mm -hmm. well. Scholarship deadline June seventh. Yes, you're really looking to empower folks who have lived this journey with some some good money to help with education. What's that all about? This year we have one twenty five hundred dollar scholarship being made available. People are to submit their um, story and how it's directly related to the disease of addiction and then there's a vote that's done by the committee and it is June 7th like you said postmarked by June 7th and um, yeah then we'll honor them at the gala event and we'll honor them in other ways and make sure that they're able to read their actual submission Wonderful. And then, Paula, just to touch on a point that you already made through volunteering with TriCircle, I have learned this touches every mm -hmm. corner of our community. And mm -hmm. if you think it hasn't touched you, it's just because someone's not talking about it. Right. Um, for somebody who's watching at home this morning and, and just feels lost on this journey mm -hmm. and has not taken that first step, they have a child, a spouse, a grandchild who's going through this. What do you say? Um, I my heart just says feel I want you to feel personally invited so this is a face for um, one of our events and I speak for all of our facilitators consider yourself personally invited to join us and come um, see how we can make a difference mm. all right they'll have giveaways as well ladies yep. thank you for being here I do you want to point out tri circle is the nonprofit <laughs> so if you leave here learning one thing you need to google it find the information about the meetings or any of those resources. TriCircle is the nonprofit. Ladies, uh, thank you for making an impact in our community and good luck tonight. Right, thank thank you. you so much.